Now, one of, of course, the big responsibilities of HR is in hiring. Sure. And, and in, in trying to weed through the thousand resumes you get for the one mm -hmm. position. Um, so when, when you're looking at a potential candidate for a position, what are some of the key things that you look for? I'm not talking about you know, their technical skills, right? But I'm sort of thinking about more of the person. What are some of the sure. key attributes you look for? Yeah, I would say that um, we're getting more and more focused on EQ, emotional intelligence, and, and training people to recognize that. Um, it's, it's a new-ish type mm -hmm. of assessment that's gaining more and more uh, credibility. And for what, I, what we try to teach people is to help identify EQ in, in interviews. Mm -hmm. So aside from the technical and making sure that they've got the experience, EQ ends up coming into play um, much more than people give it credit for. Right. Right. So can you just explain a little bit of what EQ is? I'm not sure. familiar with that. Okay. Um, it, is, it is how someone is able to utilize their skills in recognizing their emotional behaviors and also those that are coming at them mm -hmm. and how to use those in a leadership way. So, for instance, um, self-awareness. If someone is very self-aware, they are typically a very good listener mm -hmm. um, because they are aware of all of the data coming to them. They're willing to be patient to hear it. They're not impulsive. So impulse control tends yes. to be an EQ type thing. Um, they are can be indicators for how someone has the ability to work within groups, lead groups, work through problems, things of that nature. Okay, and is that a formal assessment you guys do, or is it more more informal? It's a, right now at this point, it's more informal. Um, it's more of getting people to understand what it is. Mm -hmm. We've just really kind of started on okay. this on this track. Um, we're starting to use it more in, in our development for assessments. So um, internal assessments of existing employees. Yes. So use it for both right. new and existing. Right. Excellent. Right.